Hello everyone. In this lecture, we'll see one of the important property of analytic function, which is in the form of problem here. So a problem is if f of z is regular function, regular means again it is analytic of a function of z. Show that dou by dou x of mod of f of z whole square plus dou by dou y of mod of f of z of whole square. Is equal to mod of f dash of z of whole square. So solution. So let the function f of z will consider as what here u plus i v be the regular function. Regular function. And remember, regular is nothing but analytic. So then, so f of z is equal to u plus i v. So which implies, if I take mod of f of z, it will become u square plus v square. Okay, square root of u square plus v square. Or if you don't want a square root, so you can square it on both side. So you will get what here? Mod of f of z whole square is equal to u square plus v square so in this question we don't want that term so i am not taking so we'll keep this one as it is and uh, for this square root of u square plus v square i will consider as far we'll take the value of uh, square root of u square plus v square is nothing but pi we'll take in this here so to prove that so we have to we have to prove that according to this question so wherever you have uh, mod of f of z will replace phi because mod of f of z is also square root of u square plus v square which i am going to consider as phi so wherever you have so left hand side you have so therefore it will become uh, what here do by do x of this mod of f of z will become phi whole square plus sign so do by do y of again phi it is do by do y of phi whole square is equal to we have to prove modulus of f dash of z whole square now using this uh, means if you prove this or in short in short or this do do phi by do x whole square is nothing but phi x whole square so this will become phi y square is equal to if you prove this f dash of z whole square and remember what is phi phi is nothing but square root of u square plus v square because while differentiating so you have to remember that one now consider consider phi is nothing but consider phi is nothing but square root of u square plus v square so if you don't want this square root so squaring on both side so we'll get phi square is equal to u square plus v square now so for this again what we have to go for here to get phi square of x and phi square of y so we have to differentiate with respect to x and y partially so differentiating differentiating with respect to x partially so differentiating with respect to x partially so what happens here differentiation of phi square with respect to x partially is 2 phi into phi x is equal to differentiation of u square with respect to x partially is it is 2 times u into u x and differentiation of v square with respect to x partially is 2 into v into v x so we have 2 in the left hand side also and if you take 2 common so on dividing 2 so we will get we will get phi into phi x is equal to u u x plus v v x so this is our equation number 1 now so this, as we know that so this is a uh, means the given function is a symmetric function so similarly similarly we have 
partial derivative with respect to y is here so phi of phi y is equal to u into u y plus v into v y so directly we can write here because they are symmetric so and we'll consider this one as result number 2 so if you differentiate partially with respect to y you will find the same result only so now to get this so but here we want uh, in the required thing uh, phi x square plus phi y square so for we we can add 1 plus 2 but here square will not come so to get that one so we'll go for out here squaring and adding squaring and adding 1 and 2 we get so squaring adding 1 and 2 we get what we'll get we'll see here so on squaring so what happens here so left hand side if you square for of equation number 1 phi square phi x square plus left hand side of 2 will be phi square into phi y square is equal to so right hand side be careful so while squaring it will become u into u x plus v into v x whole square it will be plus second term right hand side that is a uh, equation true or right hand side u into u y plus v into v y whole square so squaring and adding so here you can observe here so common is phi square will take it out so here left what here phi x square plus phi y square is equal to so here we need to go for a plus b whole square formula so on expansion of uh, a plus b whole square formula so this is a and this is b so u square u x square plus v square v x square plus 2 times a b that is 2 u into u x v into v x plus so squaring this uh, means making uh, a plus b whole square formula for this also so it will become uh, u square into u y square v square into v y square plus I will write it down here 2 times u into u y v into v y so this is the expansion of a plus b whole square and here a plus b whole square so therefore so now we will go for the uh, terms of similarity means the uh, same thing and uh, for that again we will uh, use the conditions here the conditions are so as we know that since f of z is analytic since f of z is analytic so we have CR equation so CR equation will satisfy us CR equation is what here u y will be minus v x and v y will be what here u x means all u y will convert as minus v x and u uh, uh, y will convert as u x here so therefore so right uh, by using so we will put a bracket for this see here so we will apply the CR equation to the right hand side so phi square of phi x square plus phi y square is equal to so this bracket will become u square into u x square plus v square into v x square so what we will do here so it will become 2 times u v 2 times u v into u x into v x plus so here in this uh, way in this bracket again u square into u y square v square into v y square plus so here I want to make changes as this ui will write it as minus vx and this vy will write it as ux so it will become ux minus times so this will become minus times minus times because of this minus sign this plus into minus will become minus 2uv 
into this u y is nothing but v x and v y will be u s. So it will become u x into v x. So which is nothing but u square u x square plus v square v x square plus 2 u v into u x v x plus u square u y square v square v y square minus 2 times u v u x v x. So these terms will cancel. So among the terms what we have left we have to collect it now. So you see these two terms I will take u square common so u x square plus here u y square is there u y square plus among these two terms we will take v square common so v x square plus v y square so this is square here and again you can after taking commons and simplifying you can see that u x square plus u y square and you can use this uh, uh, result as again we will uh, change it so u square of u x square plus u y square plus v common so this v x is nothing but what here so v x is a minus u y so it is minus u y whole square plus v y is nothing but v y is nothing but u x whole square so therefore on rearrangement u square u x square plus u y square plus v square into I will write positive here so u x square so minus u y whole square is again plus here so u y square and you can observe here both the brackets are same so we can take it as what here u square plus v square into u x square plus u y square so this is nothing but again the left hand side phi square of phi x square plus phi y square so we got this result now so but we know that but phi square is nothing but u square plus v square so therefore therefore this above u square plus v square will become phi square so left hand side phi square into phi x square plus phi y square is equal to phi square into u x square plus u y square so this phi square phi square cancel so we are going to left only phi x square plus phi y square is equal to u x square plus u y square so therefore so on simplifying again but this I want to change it as so this y term I want to convert in terms of x means by CR equation so u x square plus so this will become minus v x whole square by CR equation so therefore u x square plus minus v x whole square will become v x square so phi x whole square uh, means phi x square plus phi y square so we will keep this one as it is so now we know that our f dash of z is nothing but ux plus i times vx but f dash of z is nothing but ux plus i times vx so take mod on both sides mod of f dash of z is equal to square root of u x square plus v x square ok or squaring on both side squaring on both side so what happens here mod of f dash of z whole square is equal to square root and square get cancelled so u x square plus v x square so this left hand side 
will apply here so therefore we'll using this uh, right hand side result to the left hand side in above expression so therefore we'll get 5x square plus 5y square is equal to what here mod of f dash of z whole square so this one we have to prove it so in the beginning we have considered so this proves this proves the required result 